Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I am in a different spot um, today. I am sitting on my love sack. Um, I just wanted to be super, super casual with you guys today. I am doing an empties video because I have so many this beauty products to review for you guys. This is just going to be um, beauty. There is going to be no... Um, no candles, no fragrance, no home fragrance. That's going to be in a separate video. Um, pardon me if I look like absolute crap, which I know I do. Um, I didn't take, I took a shower, but I didn't do my hair or do anything. So what we're doing is we have lots of empties to get started with. The first thing I'm going to start with is this gigantic pot of ocean salt um, from Lush. Ocean salt is a face and a body scrub. I don't use it. Um, to scrub my face with. It's way too harsh for that. I use it about once a week as a nice deep body exfoliator. There's, I love the way it smells, there's sea salt in there, there's lime, vodka, lots of really, really cool ingredients in there to really brighten and soften the skin. I got this massive, massive pot from the UK. I ordered it online. It's like, it's like huge. It is 600 grams. I don't know how many ounces that is, but it's a lot of ounces. So, it's really, really cool. So, I finished Ocean Salt. I love that. I finished the Clinique Pep Start 2-in-1 Exfoliating Cleanser. I didn't really care for this. It was just a really basic cleanser. Um, had a little bit of ground bamboo in there. It was nice, but it was nothing to write home about. I didn't notice anything different in my skin. I finished the Wen 613 Ultra Nourishing Intensive Body Treatment which is lemon, rosemary, and vanilla bean scent. I love the way it smells. Um, when I just, I used to like it, don't really like it anymore. So I'm really working on using through my products, and this is one of them. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing, like, I wouldn't say it's revolutionary to, like, body product-wise. It's just basic to me. I finished a Bath & Body Works hand soap. It was one of the mason jar soaps. This is in Market Peach. There's nothing else to say about that. It's just a artificial peachy scent. I finished Ice White Pomegranate um, hand soap from Bath & Body Works. Again, the foam soaps are nice. They dry your hands out after a while, though, so they're fine. I finished Black Cherry Merlot soap as well. It was fine. Just, I'm trying to get out of all the boring stuff so I can start talking about the fun stuff. Um, Fruity Beauty Shower Gel. Um, this is, I got from the kitchen, the Lush Kitchen. It smells so weird, and I don't know. I, it must be the vodka. It's pineapple juice, vodka, lemon, and lime, but it smelled burnt. And I don't know why I really couldn't even use this. I ended up using it as like a bubble bath because I could not stand the smell. It's something so weird and a lot of people said the same thing about it. I don't know. I expected Fruity Beauty to be super fruity and super fun, but it's not. It had this weird, weird burning smell to it. I don't know. I finished a gigantic, also from the UK, bottle of I Love Juicy Shampoo, which I do love. It is a deep clarifying shampoo, has lots of fruit juices, super fruit enzymes, really deep cleansing for the hair, and I loved this product. I finished Jersey Bounce Shampoo. Um, it looks kind of weird that there's a different label. I got this in my staff box, because um, I do work for Lush. Um, Jersey Bounce is a really, really cool shampoo. If you like big, give this guy a try. It's a little bit more hydrating. It still has that sea salt in there, but it's really, really hydrating um, with some egg proteins and stuff, so I like that. I finished a Sunday Riley Ceramic Slip Clay Cleanser. Love this guy. A few pumps goes a long way. It doesn't really bubble up, but it really just leaves your skin super nice. Nothing too uh, harsh or aggressive. Really like that. Sunday Riley Wise as well. I finished Tidal, um, which is a brightening enzyme water cream. Really, really like this stuff. Um, the only thing is, it's not really great for my skin type. I do get really oily. Um, I couldn't use this in the day. My skin would be too oily, so <clears throat> I would use this at night. Um, really like it, but again, it was not great for my skin type, so I would not be repurchasing that. I finished a Jo Malone Red Roses hand wash. I really like this. 
It's a blend of, like, I think something crazy, like 20 different roses and lemon or something like that. I don't know. But I really like it. It's a very fresh, pure rose scent. I finished mm, one of my favorite products, the L'Occitane Almond Shower Oil. I love this stuff. It's just a warm vanilla scent, but when you put it on your body, it is so deeply nourishing and moisturizing. I love this stuff. It's awesome. You guys have to try it. And they sold it at Sephora, which is nice. Um, kind of random, there's this new brand of deodorant. It's called Schmidt's Natural Deodorant. Um, I was using Piper Y for a while, La Vanilla, and they were nice, but they still let you sweat. Like, I don't know. These guys are awesome because you don't really sweat with them. I finished the Lavender and Sage and the Rose and Vanilla. I'm currently working on Cedarwood and Juniper right now. Really, really like these guys, and I like that they're in a stick, so you just pull it off and just, you know, you know how to use deodorant. Finish those guys. I finished... The Nexus um, Maximum Finishing Mist Hairspray. One of my favorite hairsprays, Stronghold. Finished up two of those guys. Love that. I finished a Sunday Riley Martian Mattifying um, <coughs> Melting Water Gel Toner. There's like nothing left in this. Yeah, I literally used every drop of it. Um, currently have one that is about halfway done now, and I have another one in backup. I will never be without this product. I love it. Mattifies the skin without leaving your skin feeling matte. Still feels really hydrating. I use half a pump on my hands, massage together, and just massage my face with it. Let it sit for a few seconds and then continue my routine. Love that stuff. Use it every morning and night. I finished the Wen Tea Tree Remoist Hydrating Hair Mask. Like I said, I'm trying to use up my Wen products. Um, I was off from work for the day, slathered like half the pot in my hair, rinsed it out, didn't really notice the difference. Um, my hair smelled good with the tea tree, but I mean, I didn't really notice a whole lot of a difference. This hair's driving me crazy, it's so long. I finished American Crew Fiber. I love this stuff for my hair. It's the only thing when I have my hair in my pompadour, it's the only thing that holds it, holds it up. Um, although I will say, um, where I get my hair done, now I switch places. Um, they recommended stuff to me and I've been using it and it's really, really awesome. It's really working. Bad example today because I don't have anything in my hair. Huh. I finished oh, the world's most expensive, not really, but the most expensive beauty product that does not last at all. Good Jeans from Sunday Riley. This is like $105 and it lasts like a month if you use it properly every day. It's crazy. I love it. Love the results of it. Um, I've stopped using it because it's really expensive for um, how quickly it goes. So can't really justify that right now. But I have other things that I want to try. <laughs> Let's pull this bag up here. I finished a L'Occitane yeah, L'Occitane Honey um, Hand Wash. I really like this. Really, really nourishing. It doesn't have a strong scent, which I really like. I finished the Aesop Resurrection Aromatic Hand Wash. This smells so good. It is mandarin rind, rosemary leaf, and cedar. So it's very fresh, very citrusy. Um, when I'm in New York next, I want to pick up another couple bottles of this because I love that hand wash. I finished another soap from Bath & Ju Juicy Georgia Peach. Um, this guy is really, really nice. It's just a gentle foaming soap. I finished a small bubbly shower gel from Lush. This is my favorite new shower gel for the year. It just smells um, like, if you remember, um, Celebrate Body Lotion from a couple years ago, from last year too, and Golden Wonder Bath Bomb has that same scent. Then I have American Cream Conditioner. This is, um, I got this in the 29 High Street gift that I purchased for myself last Christmas, and it came in Canadian packaging. Um, this is what I bring when I go to New York with me. As you can see, it's empty. I love this conditioner. I do have some wax melts in here, but I'm saving this for another video. Big Shampoo. I was talking about that before. I love this stuff. It can be drying on the hair, but I really like it. Um, a sample of a Diptyque um, 
hand balm. I like to bring samples of hand cream that are like a one-time use. Um, when it's really, really cold outside in the winter, just stick it in my jacket pocket if I know I'm not bringing a bag with me. That way I could just open it, put it on my hands, and then throw it away. But um, obviously I didn't throw this guy away because I really like it. I want to repurchase the full size of that. Or purchase the full size. I finished a La Mer cleanser. I also brought... Well, that... that that didn't focus really well. That's the La Mer Cleanser. Um, really like this guy. It's a portable one. I brought this with me to New York as well. Foamed up really nice. It was a little drying though on the skin, which I really don't appreciate. But then a bunch of really, really teeny little things. I finished a L'Occitane Vanilla Flower Shea Butter Hand Cream. I finished a Pure Shea Butter Hand Cream from L'Occitane. I finished an almond hand cream from L'Occitane, which I love all of those hand creams. They're awesome. And then I finished a small Wood Sage and Sea Salt body wash from Jo Malone. And that is absolutely all that I finished this, well, I was going to say this month. That would be crazy um, since my last video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know if you like this new setup. It's just much more relaxed. I got my little blanket here, nice and cozy, ready for the winter time. So I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.